Alright, Jim, here's the video of the home on Greythorn, starting out on the street with the view of the mountain there, scrolling around to the home here, the front entrance. Three car garage. The driveway. Neighbors' homes. Cul de sac lot. And then back into the subject property go through the gate for the front entrance and there is a pool in the front yard as you see right here spa area and then where I'm focusing right now is actually the master suite with an entrance off to the pool area we'll walk around to the front door um, and before I do that there are other entrances from the kitchen and living areas I believe so here we are in the front door Gonna walk over to the master as the first part of the tour. And here it is. Fireplace over here. And there's that entrance I was talking about to the pool. And then here's the bathroom area. I'm assuming this is just a little area for whether it be another office or an office or workout room, library within the master suite toilet area, jacuzzi tub, um, sorry about that, here's one of the sinks, going back to the other sink, walk-in shower, and then the huge master closet. Walk back through the master suite. High ceilings. Outside the master bedroom, one of the windows is, is the yard here, obviously, and then the neighbors. So the privacy isn't as good as the other homes, but I certainly think the location um, and the upgrades certainly match or beat any of the homes that I've seen. I would assume this is the formal living room, fireplace, huge ceilings, lots of light, doesn't appear to need really any work so far. And then off of this area is the downstairs or hall bath, needs a little bit of work right here. And then we'll go back out. I'm assuming this is probably the family room. does have a fireplace right there, some built-ins next to it, and then the formal dining room, a sample of the flooring. Floor, the wood flooring in the home is really cool um, and very nicely upgraded. Wood beams, backyard view. walk through. I don't have many of the lights on so I'm sorry about that. Here's the bar area off the kitchen. Um, pantry. And then in the kitchen and I'm actually going to walk around and then back through again so you get a better view. Really really nice kitchen. Definitely one of the nicest ones I've seen. Lots of countertop space, lots of cabinets fridge and laundry room with sink closet and I'm not going to go in the garage but um, I think you got a good feel for that outside and then obviously walking back around through the kitchen there's one of those doors to the outside there's the other one and then the other one and then we're going to head upstairs very nicely upgraded flooring on the staircase as well as the banisters and it looks like a little loft area for some form of office just gonna peek over here so you get a, a view of the mountain not sure if that'll come through too clearly and then looking downstairs into the living room and then back through the upstairs area Another fireplace, 
balcony, so to speak, overlooking the front entrance and the pool. Another kind of loft or entertainment or movie theater area, dual-sided fireplace. One of the bedrooms with its own bath. I'm not too sure if someone just removed a mirror or what the case is there. It doesn't appear to be too major of work needed though. Views from this bedroom. So you are obviously looking right into the neighbor's homes and then into this one, the closet. Back through the loft area here into the other bedroom. And it too has its own bathroom. Shower, toilet, and closet. And then the views from this bedroom. And it has the entrance to the patio area, balcony. And then back to the entertainment or the loft type area. So hopefully I got mostly everything here, the views from this room. So now I'll obviously put together an email with my comments, but just as a kind of quick synopsis, you're, you're probably paying more for location in this part of Troon um, than you are other areas. You're getting a severely, um, and I mean in a positive way, upgraded home with all the features it has. But the downside probably is it doesn't have the privacy that other homes that we've looked at or analyzed have. Um, and that might be the toughest thing to overcome. But as far as floor plan, I think it's very suitable. Unfortunately, the pool's in the front yard, but I'm not too sure that that disturbs privacy from anything. So anyway, hopefully this tour helped, and I will talk with you soon. Thanks.